What we're going to do is just listen for just a minute. A lady was nearing the end of her life on earth. She was 70 years old. And her family was all around her. And one of her children asked her, you know, if you had to write down a summary of your life on five index cards, you know, the little ones that you used to use for uh, school flashcard type things. If you had to write down this, the, the the summary of your life on five of those index cards, what would the story be? And she, she said, chapter one, you know, note card number one. I'm walking down a street and I'm not looking down. I'm not looking around. There's a hole in the street that leads to a very dark, deep pit. But nobody, and I fall into it. Nobody's around to help me out takes me a long time, but eventually I get out. Chapter two, I'm on the same street and there's another hole and I see it, but I step in it anyway. It's dark. It's deep. It takes me a little less time to get out, but there's nobody to help me. But eventually I get out. Chapter three. I'm walking down the same street. There's a hole. And I see it. And I think about moving around it, but I don't move around it. And I step in it. It's dark and it's deep, but it takes me less time to get out of it. Chapter four. I'm walking down the same street. And there's a hole, and I look down in it, and I know that if I end up there, it's nobody else's fault except my own. So I move around it. Chapter five, I'm walking down a different road, because unfortunately, this is the story of most people's lives. They spend a decade trying to undo one mistake. But because they never learn from that mistake and they're too busy blaming other people for why that mistake was made, how nobody else could help them, how it was somebody else's fault that they ended up in the hole, who put that hole there, why didn't somebody pave this road? <laughs> how come nobody's, how come there's no whole rescuing crews to come and get me when I need it? It takes a long time to learn the lesson that way. As you'll find from as you go through the intensive, people who learn the lesson, people who learn the thing that they most need to learn, which is, by the way, not how to get out of the hole. You will learn how to get out of the hole when you learn how to not step in the hole in the first place, even if you're in the hole. So I just want you to keep your eyes closed considering this story, I want you to think about some ways, some areas that your story has gotten off course or has been um, written, is starting to get written by um, the whole instead of the the journey that you're on. Like this lady discovered, the, the road that she was on was filled with potholes that were so big, it would take her years, even decades to get out of. Why are we traveling the same road? At the beginning of, of all of our interviews that y'all did with me, the, the intake process, I asked you, why now? Why is the now? Why, why now? Why not in a year from now? Why not a year ago? Right? And the other thing that I wanted to know was, 
was to make sure that you understood the definition of healing. Healing is not who I was before I met the narcissist. Because that you were on a road before you met the narcissist, you were on a road with a bunch of potholes that were begging you to just fall in there, right? Chapter one, this lady says, I'm on a road. I'm walking down a road. I don't see the pothole. I don't see the hole. I fall into the hole. And now it's my responsibility to get out of the hole. That is zero. That is who you were before the narcissist. The purpose of this intensive is to now help you get out of the hole, but to help you also understand that you need to get off that road. You need to get on a different road. 